Well, good evening wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. We are in the port city of Porto and this unmistakably the Estadio do Dragao. Blue, certainly the colour. And we rise now for the English national anthem. Quite some performance, and now here comes the response. Think this turns on Jim yeah Christian Eriksen he's super accurate with both feet Peter and able to deliver a cross or a through ball with just the perfect bend or indeed weight all this allied to great awareness and vision which make him a massive creative talent what I really like about Eriksen though is that he's got the energy and the determination to keep going for 90 minutes every game he's a trier he would be the obvious choice, wouldn't he? He certainly has all the right qualities. So it's down to business here. Ericsson. And he's going long. Is that a foul? Yes, the referee's given it. Kane looks to get on the end of this. Sterling. Trippier. Lovely bit of skill. Rice. Gets into some space. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. Ericsson. Foden. Well, each team knows that they're still well below standard, and it's a question of uh, which can uh, find a way out. Can he deliver? Trippier drives it in. And that's left him on the seat of his pants. Denmark have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but... What's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. And here's Ericsson. Ericsson gets flagged offside.
Foden. Sterling, dangerous looking ball, but it's come to nothing. Delaney. Hoists it forward. This is quite a run and he's not done yet. Cut out in the nick of time. He's gone for it! And out to safety. Foden. Kane. It's Kane! Goal, England! That is just remarkable, the amount of bendy got on that. Yeah, and it's not a surprise to see him elect to shoot from there, considering how much movement can be generated on the ball. Great hit. The goal scorer for England, after 36 minutes, is number nine. England get themselves into the lead. Surprise, surprise. He just keeps on delivering. And listen, we all expect that. Out to the left it goes. Delaney. And it's Hoiberg. Here it is now, surely. Good idea, just poorly executed. Thus. That's all right on the edge of the penalty area. What's he giving here? No, the referee's judged that the offence took place outside the area. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. Son. Goes for goal. Oh, and with that, the half time whistle goes. Well, there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very. And that's the start of another 45 minutes. England going well here, and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit. Shoots! Away from immediate danger. Goes for the cross, has a pop! Worth a try, shame about the outcome. Oh, that's fantastic improvisation he showed there. Adjusted himself very quickly, but it's rare that they come off. Hoiberg, and it's played forward. Ericsson. Hoiberg. Denmark keep the ball, but... Can't do anything meaningful with it. Forward it goes. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Tries to get it forward quickly. And here's Sterling. Trippier. Gets up to head it. Harmlessly behind.
Højberg. Er det Højberg? Eriksson. Eriksson takes the long option. Well, this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Vass. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, the message they're sending out now is pretty loud and clear. Let's grab a second goal and, and give ourselves an element of comfort. Ericsson really struggling to influence the game. They're just trying to negate his influence, and it looks like whatever it takes. Delaney. Kane is now the subject of some adhesive marking. Yeah, Peter, and it looks like this defence will go tooth and nail to prevent him from, um, from getting another. And that's put paid to a promising move. Hoiberg drives it forward. Has a go! Should have equalised. Oh, that'll be a major disappointment for him. That should have got his team back in the game. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Trippier. Alexander-Arnold. He's pinged one through here. Oh, he's been flattened there. England are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Ericsson. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Well, Red, he sorted that out. It is just a question of running down the clock now. Poulsen. Well, they're supposed to be chasing a goal, and yet there's no urgency or sense of awareness. They've got to wake up. Hoiberg. Attempts to play it through. Tries to pick out a teammate. And the referee brings it to a close. England, hold on. It's a narrow squeak, bit of luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Well, to me, this is a result, Peter, that says an awful...